Hi, I'm Jenny Johnson, and we're here to talk about the Oscars. The countdown has begun. March 2nd marks the 86th annual Academy Awards. Hosting this year again is the hilarious Ellen DeGeneres. And joining me right now is the revered film critic for the Boston Globe, Ty Burr. If you say so, okay. <laughs> All right, so give us a scoop. How does the hype compare this year to past years? I think this year, for once, we have a slate of nine really strong films. I mean, there's always one or two that's maybe a little obscure, or maybe isn't quite all that, that's maybe getting a little overhyped. But this year, I'd say all nine of these films are really, really good. 2013 was a very strong year. Challenging films, entertaining films, terrific performances, terrific performances by actresses, which everybody is always complaining there aren't enough good roles for women out there. Well, these films prove them wrong. So the hype is real. The okay. hype is real. So you gave out a lot of three stars, three and a half stars, even four stars. Was this a high scoring year for you and why do you think so? It is. I think um, one of the reasons is that you have a lot of talented filmmakers. Um, it, writer directors like David O. Russell, uh, like um, Steve McQueen, the British filmmaker. Uh, all coming together and, and just maybe it's timing. They're all doing strong work and it all happens to be coming out this one year. But you've got a very, very diverse bunch of movies. You've got historical epics. You've got sort of futuristic uh, love stories. You've got um, uh, based in real life uh, stories about the 70s AIDS epidemic. You've got comedies. You've got all sorts of different movies. They're all strong. The performances are all strong. It's a surprisingly good year. Very diverse. Ty, you've been doing this a long time. So can you compare what typically the Academy will choose versus what the critics choose? If I had to make a distinction, I would say the critics groups tend to reward more challenging, more ambitious, maybe not as audience-friendly films hmm. that, um, you know, try and do something different as a general rule. Um, at the same time, the Boston Society of Film Critics named 12 Years a Slave the best uh, film of 2013, and that is probably going to be winning Best Picture. So there are some overlaps. Uh, there's, there's a, quite a bit of overlap. Okay, now I want your picks and then what you think the Academy will pick. Let's start with Best Picture. What's your pick, Tiber? My pick is probably Her. That was the movie I named, uh, it was number one on my top ten list. Uh, that is the Joaquin Phoenix movie about a man who falls in love with his computer operating system, voiced by Scarlett Johansson. Um, I thought that was a terrifically moving, surprisingly funny, moving, relevant movie. Futuristic, but, really? But, but only like ten years from right, now. Right. I mean, it, it's... Closer than we think. It's Well, that's the point. It says as much about how we live now as it does about the way we'll, we will be living. Okay, so now the Academy. That would, what are they going to pick? The Academy, I think, is probably going to go with 12 Years a Slave. It's a really good movie. It's not an easy watch, but it's an important movie to see, I think, as an American, as somebody who, you know, is aware or not aware of our country's history. You need to see something like this to, to fold this into your understanding of what it means to live in this country. It's really well made, well acted, production values. I mean, it is a class act. Okay, your pick for best actress. You know, I would have said Kate, uh, Kate Blanchett, I, and that would be my pick, but I honestly think that the whole messy Woody Mia thing mm. uh, may actually- it Change things. Yeah, because the ballots are still out. It may make some voters uncomfortable about voting for somebody who's in a Woody mm. Allen film. Maybe yes, maybe no, but I would have said before, Two weeks ago, she was a lock. Okay. Now she's not necessarily a lock. Amy Adams from American Hustle could sneak in there. Ty's pick for best actor is? My pick would probably be Matthew McConaughey. What will the Academy say? They are either going to pick M McConaughey or Chiwetel Ejiofor for, for 12 Years a Slave. I'm thinking it might be McConaughey. Okay, well, Ty, thank you so much. People thank can you. see all of your reviews from this past 2013 on bostonglobe.com, and we look forward to seeing how your picks compare to the Academy picks. Thanks, Ty. So am I. Thanks.